if we're going to veer into the danger zone, um, the more trouble for me came later, you know, with vehicles. And when we were, I mean, I suppose earlier, um, this the first boyfriend I had was a, a guy who was, he was actually from Boulder, but he spent a, um, he did, I don't know how this happened, but he and my brother ended up doing a, um, an exchange of sorts where my brother went, he's from Boulder, and they, my brother went to live at their house, and this kid came to our house, and he became my boyfriend. He's two years older, um, and, you know, lived with us and had this little BMW stick shift, and he taught me how to drive that car when I was 14 up the pass. Wow. And we would listen to, yeah, I would listen to The Who, Who's Next, yeah. and Gary Wright Dreamweaver. <laughs> Learning how to drive this, this little stick shift BMW. And so to this day, like I still drive that pass. Like I am in a little sports car, double clutch. Maserati or something. Yeah. 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 But he, he, um, yeah, I learned, I learned how to drive really well in that car. Going, you know, it's funny going back and forth from college and going home for a couple of years going up back and forth boy you sure do get to know those roads and those turns this one it's like okay i can zip out in front this one and i gotta watch out for this one and it's like you can kind of exactly you know you feel like mario andretti when you're doing the turns and stuff you know yep. you know where well, you can I, make the the um double even when there's a double ye yellow you know it's like oh no i can yeah. i can make this one yeah <laughs> i think that's that's something that a lot of people who've never been there don't understand really it's just how treacherous that road really is you know and Independence Pass, particularly, where you know they they built it to get the trains or something across it, or, and there were just this tiny little lanes. And on the on the side of the cliff where it went down to 300 feet, they literally had just little stacks of like concrete and rocks. That those yeah. you remember those little things? There was like they were positioned at different parts, but and then on this side was nothing but a cliff wall. And yeah. you know you're you're going 35 miles an hour up there, it, even in your lane, and you're coming around a, a blind corner, and then you just have no idea what's oh, what's yeah. coming. Have you been up there lately? Because now they, I mean, I think the Colorado Highway Department knows the Department of Transportation knows how serious that road is because they like there's you know there's, there's light now there's, there's stoplights lights. yeah and they tell you go oh, stop really? and start yeah yeah and it's like I you can't go that. because someone's going to come yeah. I can't go. That. I can. Re I really can barely drive it anymore because it it makes me insane. Because <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't need to stop here. I can. I I, I know what gave me the respect for the Independence Pass was what you know hearing about the Porsche convention and there would always it was inevitably every other year there was always somebody that thought they were so cool they drive their Porsche up and that one hairpin turned with the gravel they just get launched and it was like as a kid you just heard about you know and then you heard what about the person who did it before you think people would learn and it was you know it was like okay yeah that road yep, yep. pay attention <laughs> yep yeah. I remember coming down from, uh, I want to say Lost Man Reservoir or somewhere where we would have either, either been fishing or mushroom hunting or something. And uh, we were behind a Winnebago, which why anybody would drive a Winnebago on that road is beyond me. Yeah. Going around those turns and stuff, they barely had enough clearance to get all four wheels around, you know. But there was a guy on a 10 speed bike coming down. And this Winnebago never even saw him, and they just literally just smashed him into the cliff. Whoa. Oh my the, God. Under, under the mountainside. And then they kept going, and we picked him up and brought him down to uh, AHS or something, but <laughs> Aspen Hospital. And that, I mean, right there, that's that's the biggest memory I have from being a little kid and just how dangerous that road oh, is. Wow. And, and the craziest thing was is that. The people in the Winnebago probably never even knew it. They were probably like, where did this dent come from? <laughs> you know, they, right? They creamed this guy on the, on the side of a mountain. You know? Oh, my God. <laughs> they just kept going.